What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Michael Lorenzen, who had 5 Ks and 8 innings, giving up 2 runs. He had these fastballs, sliders, and change-ups, and he faced Johnny Cueto, who had 4 Ks and 6 innings, giving up 4 runs. Cueto had this painted fastball, this change-up, and cutter. He also got this rare 1-2-3 ground ball, print out at first base. Yep, pitcher to catcher to first base. And of course, Cueto messed with hitter's timing. And here's an overlay of two different pitches from Cueto to Schwarber. And you can see how much of a timing difference those pitches are. Cueto almost has the ball back from the catcher by the time his other pitch reaches home plate. Jack Flaherty made his debut for the Orioles and had 8 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 1 run, and had these sliders and curveballs. And he faced Kevin Gosman, who had 6 Ks in 4 and a third innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these wicked splitters. And this slow-mo shows a good look at Gosman's unique splitter grip. Adrian Hauser had 5 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 1 run. He relied mostly on his fastballs, including this two-seamer that was maybe just a little bit off the plate. He outdueled Mitch Keller, who had 5 Ks in 5 innings, but gave up 8 runs. Yuck! Keller did have these fastballs. Clark Schmidt had 4 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 2 runs, and had these cutters and knuckle curve. He battled Christian Javier, who had 4 Ks in 4 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these nasty sliders. Brandon Fought looked good with 7 strikeouts and in 7 innings, giving up only 1 run on 2 hits. And he got Ks on his fastballs, sliders, and curveball. Max Scherzer had a very nice debut at the Rangers, going 6 innings with 9 Ks, giving up 3 runs. He relied on his fastball, as well as these wicked cutters and sliders. He faced Tuki Toussaint, who had 9 Ks in 5 and a third innings, giving up 4 runs. He got Ks on his fastball, including this two-seamer, as well as these curveballs. Jamison Tyone had 5 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 2 runs. He had this bullseye fastball, as well as his curveball and sweeper. He faced Luke Weaver, who gave up 4 runs in 3 innings, getting 5 Ks, mostly on these fastballs. Brady Singer was very good once again with 4 Ks and 8 scoreless innings. He relied on these wicked sliders, including this back foot slider. Sonny Gray had 8 Ks and 7 innings, giving up 2 runs. And looked really sharp with these fastballs, sliders, and sweepers. And here's an overlay of Gray's fastball and slider, and look how long these pitches track to the plate. Sonny Gray is a tunneling master, and this is a great example of it. When he's on, he is a true pitching artist. J.P. Sears had 5 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 2 runs, and had these sliders and sweepers. And he faced Julio Arias, who had 5 Ks in 5 innings, giving up no runs, and only 3 hits. He had this changeup and this absolutely incredible slurve. Look at this from a front view. This slurve broke 19 inches and it makes you wonder how anybody ever gets a hit in baseball. What a silly sport. Check that ball for holes. That was probably the filthiest pitch I saw all night. Brian Wu had 6 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs. And had these fastballs, including this 2-seamer that broke 18 inches. That's definitely filthy enough to summon Ric Flair and let out a woo. Wu also had this slider. And he faced yesterday's best player of the day. I don't know what to call Shohei. Shohei Otani, who had 4 Ks in 4 innings, giving up no runs on the bump. Shohei introduced this cutter or slider or whatever it is, but look at the drop on these things. It kind of looks like a splitter, but breaks the other way. And also had this incredible sweeper that broke 17 inches and looked like an absolute frisbee. Also, Shohei stole a base in this game, and hilariously wasn't falling for this Josh Rojas fake-out, where he tries to fake that the throw went into the outfield. I love Shohei staring at Rojas, and Rojas kind of cracking up laughing. And of course, Shohei hit his 40th home run of the year this game. I mentioned Shohei only threw four innings. He had to stop pitching due to cramping in his right hand. So after the home run, he grabs a banana, taking Kawa's legendary advice. You have to eat bananas, because monkeys never yeah, cramp. Why bananas? Monkeys never cramps. With that home run and stolen base, 
Shohei became the first player to start a game on the mound, hit a home run, and steal a base since 1964. And check this out. Amazingly, Shohei is now in the top 10 in the AL in every Triple Crown category for both the hitting Triple Crown and the pitching Triple Crown. Yep, the hitting Triple Crown is home runs, RBIs, and batting average, and the pitching Triple Crown is wins, ERA, and strikeouts. Shohei is third in batting average, second in RBIs, and first in home runs in the AL. And in the top 10 in ERA, third in strikeouts, and eight in wins in the AL. Needless to say, no one's ever done this, or come close. And of course, the Angels lost to the Mariners in true Tungsten Armo Doyle fashion. Now to my filthiest relievers. Reynaldo Lopez had this diesel. Mike Bauman had this nasty curveball. Yanir Cano had this sinker slider overlay. Good freaking luck with that. Araldus Chapman had this six slider. Luke Jackson had these fastballs and sliders. Griffin Jacks had these filthy changeups. Sam Mole had this beautiful painted backdoor sweeper. Josh Spores had this nasty slider and curveball. Jose Soriano had these dirty curveballs. Drew Verhagen had this sinker and sweeper combo. Andres Munoz had these vicious sliders and fastball. Adbert Alzali had these nasty sliders and then got absolutely fired up. And here's an overlay of his slider and two-seamer. And this tunneling is part of the reason Alzali has been so good lately. Michael King had this two-seamer just off the plate, as well as this filthy sweeper. And here's an overlay of his fastball and sweeper. That's not very fair. Devin Smeltzer had this fastball change-up cutter and sweeper and had 5Ks in two innings. And my filthiest reliever of the day was Mark Leiter Jr. for these unhittable splitters picking up 4Ks. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. We all know Juan Duran is one of the hardest throwing pitchers in baseball, topping out at 105 this year several times. Check out this warm-up pitch after getting hit by a comebacker. My man's just casually chucking a 100-mile-an-hour diesel like it's nothing. Absolutely ridiculous. What is up, everybody? I've got some great news for you today. Today is a 30% Pitching Ninja Profit Boost Token Day at FanDuel. You can use this Profit Boost Token on any MLB parlay of three legs or more, as long as that parlay would pay out at plus 400 or more before the Profit Boost. I would use my Profit Boost Token for my picks of the day, which are a same-game parlay of Reed Detmers and Luis Castillo, both for 7Ks or more, and then I'm gonna take you Darvers for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 